bringing it back. Wow, this got dark just right out the gate. It's, yes. Yeah. I'm not here to educate you. Okay. <laughs> this isn't this isn't my job to bring you up to speed. Okay. Well, today we are going to educate some people, and instead of talking about my specialties, I'd like to hear a bit about yours. Uh, you've been practicing Wing Chun now for how many years? Uh, coming up on a decade somewhere. Yeah. It's kind of now one of those things that feels like I've done it my whole life mm. because it's kind of one of those things that has become such a, a daily practice that if, that if I don't do it, it feels like everything falls apart. And that's pretty much what is what happens because yeah, that's oh, yeah. kind of how I pulled my life back together was just getting my head right enough to do Wing Chun. At least, at least I can do my form today. No matter how bad everything else is, I know I could at least do this. And having that amount of control helped me start to organize the rest of my life and, and pull my head out of my ass. That's basically it. <laughs> Excellent. That, that seems to be a common theme for people that really um, integrate martial arts practice into, into their life and, and start to use it as a, a real mainline structuring element. Um, yep. Wow. I, I'm just so impressed at how disciplined you are. And wow, I just, I couldn't devote that kind of time and attention to, to anything. That's incredible. Like that you, that you just make the time for that. And it must be so difficult for you. And you're just like, I know what happens when I don't do this and it's horrific. So this is a small price to pay to avoid all that other crap that happens when I don't do that. Yeah. So I don't, I don't understand how you endure not doing this. Like that, that to me is the amazing part. Yeah. Oh yeah. 